Breaking news, Malefa in hiding, says presidency after his life. My people, you will not blame him. Or, oh, no, no, no. This is uh, Malafa Obidaya, yes, who exposed that uh, northern present today as we are speaking, the governor is still serving. Who is the head hmm? of Boko Haram? This was the person who revealed and exposed, made exposition of what has been going on and let Nigerians know that this is what is happening. It was this man that brought out the information and said, guys, see, oh, something is not happening right to oh. A sitting, current sitting governor of the north is the head of Boko Haram. And this man wants to ensure that, you know, these are the people who are brainwashing people in the north and telling them that Nigeria belongs to them and that uh, they should not allow anybody take away their ancestral land. My dear, this is not true. This is not right. The land of Nigeria belongs to the indigenous people of Nigerians. And so nobody must come on to come and brainwash you and allow you to do the wrong thing. This is what is happening. This is what is going on now. As you know, the mind has gone into hiding. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Malafa in hiding says presidency after his life. Former Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Obedaya Malafa has alleged that assassins allegedly carrying out a presidential plot were out to eliminate him. Obedaya told the whistlers on phone that some powerful individuals in the presidency in President Muhammad Buhari's government have sent assassins to kill him. According to him, they have set up up to seven assassins at different times to kill him. So why now, and for the safety of my life, I have gone into hiding, he told the reporter. The, when the whistler asked him to meet him at a convenient location away from his hiding for an interview, Malava disclosed that even my wife does not know where I am. I have to stay away for my safety and for reasons best known to all. The ex-deputy governor of the CBN have had running battle with security agencies after the Department of State Service DSS invited him in August 2020 for questioning over the allegation that a northern state governor one of is one of the leaders, in fact the head of the Boko Haram terrorists in Nigeria, who wants to destabilize and destroy the country for personal reasons best known to them. When he exposed the Fulani agenda, he has been a target. On the 15th September 2020, following his invitation for the third time by the DSS, Malafa told reporters that he had he has disposed, he has to he has to be in hiding, hide himself from the current mayhem and the struggle for the betterment of Nigeria. The secret police grieved are on him as well, looking for him. The presidency is after me. Garuba Shewa and the likes of them are not to be, are not to be, uh, you know, forgotten in a hurry. These are the set of people who are after Nigerians who wants to say the truth. As we speak, they are seriously after Nigerians who have any useful information that could let the world know what is going on. I can tell you to you, I can put it to you 300%. They are so rattled right now that the South has come together as one, taking decisive decision to change and to make life for people in their state better. As a matter of fact, you know, when immediately the South, you, you know the funniest thing, when the South and governors came together, one was un un unavoidably absent because... He cannot betray his own. He might be in the South, but he's not a Southern governor per se. What I mean by that is he has his principles who has given him his job. Somebody who did not win primaries but won election. He had to be absent so that they don't flog him. Mm. Doesn't want to break the terms of the contract. So he had to quickly, you know, adjust and say, oh, I'm not coming for that meeting because he'll be seen as a traitor. Uh, yeah, he will be seen as a traitor. So this is what is currently happening now as we speak. 
the country, I, I, I put it to you, a lot is going on and a lot of, you know, mishap and mishappening is going on. Nigerians cannot even believe what is happening every single day. This man exposed, we're all aware, when he exposed last year, that a southern governor, and I beg your pardon, a northern current sitting governor, it's the head, you know, the head of this very Oharam group. Well, guess what? Since then, ah, since then, uh, he has not been, he has not had it easy. In fact, as we speak, as we speak, you know, he is now in a, he has gone into hiding. As we speak now, he's gone into hiding. He cannot uh, come out anymore, you know, because of the current predicament of what is on ground. Nigerians, we all need to rise up to the occasion and say it out. You know, the social media today is a very wonderful tool for us to let the world know what is going on in Nigeria. The social media has continued to be a, a means and a way to let the world know what is going on in Nigeria. A lot of persons, a lot of people, you know, may not know what's happening in Nigeria. But thank God for the social media. They are able to know. You can be in India today. You can be in Germany today. And you will know readily, per second, per second, what exactly is happening in Nigeria. That's why the social media, we know we must continue to let our voices to be heard. We must not all sit down and allow these people to continue to infiltrate us or do anything to us. We must let... You know, we must let our voices be heard. Silence, they say, is consensus. We must let everyone know what is going on currently now in the country. There is need for everybody to speak up. There is need for every one of us to let our voices be heard. If we don't do that and we keep quiet, we are preparing for no tomorrow. What we mean by that is these people are ready to do whatever they want to do. To ensure that they take over Nigeria, if possibly they can. But guess what? They can't. They will try. Mm, it's okay for them to try. But they will not be able to go very far with it. And that's why every one of you, every one of us, have a duty. We have a duty to speak out. We have a duty to let our voices be heard. We have a duty to ensure that nothing destroys that which belongs to us. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us share subscribe click on the notification button so we can get all your latest news thank you god bless you bye for now